Hello, and welcome to Brain Bank. My name is Melanie, and I'll be your teacher for today. Now, in this lesson, we are going to read a fun book together, and this book is called Names Are Everywhere. Can you read the title of the book with me? Names are everywhere. Yes, names are everywhere. And this book is by Mae Nelson. She is the author. Now, on the cover of this book, what do we see? We see a boy and we see a girl. And they are showing us that yes, in fact, names are everywhere. They're even on our clothes. So, this boy's shirt, it says, I love New York. New York is the name of a place. It's the name of a city. It's the name of a state. And on this girl, on her hat, I see the word Nina. Is Nina a place? Well, it might be. It's not a place I've heard of, but Nina is a common girl's name. So we can guess that her name is Nina. So yes, we can see from this picture that names really are everywhere and names are important to have. So names are everywhere. Let's read it together. Names are everywhere. So here, once again, we can guess what this little girl's name is because of her necklace. Can somebody tell me what her necklace says? L-U-C-Y. What name is that? Yes, that name is Lucy. Her name must be Lucy. So it is really important to have names for people. If we didn't have names, how could we call our friends? We couldn't say, hey you, come here. We can say, Lucy, come over here, come play with me. So names make things much easier. Now here, we have a name, Mount Robson. Now, do you think that's the name of a person? No, probably not a person. When we see the word mount, that is short for mountain. Mountain, Mount, Mount Robson. So we can guess that this is the name of a mountain, probably this large mountain in the back. So, mountains have names. Can we read this all together? Mountains have names. Yes, they do. And this mountain is called? Yes, Mount Robson. Mount Robson. Next, we have not a mountain, but what is this? Is it a swimming pool? No. Is it an ocean? No. This is a river. So even bodies of water have names. In this case, this river is called South Platte River. South Platte River. So we can say rivers have names. Can we read it all together? Rivers have names. Yes, they do. And in this case, this river is called South Platte River. So once again, rivers also have names. Now, what can we guess this is? I don't see a river and I don't see a mountain. So, ah, this is a park. This is Yellowstone National Park. So even parks have names. Parks have names. Let's read it together. Parks have names. Yes, they do. And this is a very famous park in the United States. And there are beautiful trees. There are mountains in the park. We can't see them, but there are some mountains. And there are some wild animals that are protected in this park. So Yellowstone National Park is very famous. Next, we don't have a park. We see a road or a street and some cars, maybe some houses behind the trees. But we are looking at these names. These are names of streets. 
Streets have names. Can we all read that together? Streets have names, yes. And street names are very important because they help us give directions to people so they can find different places. So in this case, I see Main Street and Maple Avenue. When we see ST, that stands for street. And when we see AV, that stands for Avenue. Street Avenue. Very good. Oh, wow, this is an exciting picture. I see lots of lights. But here, we have a name, Reno. Does anyone know what Reno is? There's a hint, it's in the sign. Ah, oh, the biggest little city in the world. Reno is a city. So even cities have names. Cities have names. Let's read it all together. Cities have names. Very good. Oh, everyone should be very familiar with this picture. What do we see here? Yes, we see a school. This is a school. There are many students coming out of the school. And in this case, this is the Old Town School. That is the name of the school. So, schools have names. Your school probably has a name too. Is your school called Old Town School? Or does it have a different name? It probably has a different name. So let's read it all together. Schools have names. Schools have names. Very good. Next, what is this? This is a bridge. A bridge. And we use bridges to get from one piece of land to another. We usually use it to cross over water. And in this case, this is a very famous bridge, also in the United States, and it's called the Golden Gate Bridge. Can you say that with me? The Golden Gate Bridge. Yes, a very famous bridge, and this bridge is in California, in the United States. It's in a very famous city called San Francisco. So, bridges have names. Can we read it all together? Bridges have names. Very good. And this bridge is called? The Golden Gate Bridge. Very good. Ah, what have we here? We have some children. It looks like they are playing baseball by the looks of the mitts on their hands. But on their shirts it says angels. Do you think angels are both of their names? Probably not. Let's see. Ah, teams have names. Teams have names. So this team, their baseball team, is called the Angels. They are the Angels. So let's read it all together. Teams have names. Teams have names. Very good. Okay. Oh, here we have something else. What is this? This is a boat or a sailboat and I see a name. This boat's name is Princess. Princess. So we can make the assumption that boats have names. Even boats have names. Let's read it all together. Boats have names. Boats have names. Very good. Oh, and here's a cute little girl and she's holding her doll. And, oh no, what's that on her arm? That we call a cast. If you break your arm, you have to get a cast on it to make it better. So she has a cast, but sometimes casts can be fun because you can write on your casts. 
And your friends can write on your cast, maybe get well soon. So in this case, this little girl wrote her name on her cast. And her name is Tina. So people have names. Let's read it all together. People have names. Very good. Oh, and here we have a big picture of many different things, many different things where we see names. And names are everywhere. Let's read it all together, shall we? Names are everywhere. And if you look at this picture, you truly will see that names are everywhere. We have people names on our shirt. Maybe we get pens with names on them. Here's another pen, Thomas. Here's another pen, Zoe. We have notes or books from different people, different names. We see names on cups or mugs. We see street names. We see city names. And we even name our pets. This dog, his name is Max. So we really do see names everywhere. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.